What's up guys, it's Andres. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to work with FBML. FBML, it's for Facebook. It works with fan pages. And I'm going to show you guys what it's all about and how to work it. So let's get started. First off, you need to make a page. To make a page, uh, usually, since this is mine, you can't see it. But usually there will be something around here that says edit or um, add page. You can make a page like that, put your name or whatever you want on it, and you can make a new one. After that, to add FBML to your page, you're going to have to go to static, FBML, it's an application, and you're going to have to press right here, add to my page. I already added it to my page, so I don't show up here, but your page will show here if you, don't, if you haven't added FBML yet. So after you add a female, let's go back to my page real quick. A new tab is going to show up. I deleted all the other tabs that come with it, like the videos and notes and all that stuff, because I don't really need it. But a new tab will come up. Mine doesn't have anything yet, but I will change soon after I show you guys how to make this coding and you know, stuff like that. So let's go to uh, Dreamweaver. Here, I already started making something. What I did was, oops, my bad. What I did was just make a background, a div with a background, so you can see what a color. You can also add a URL, so you can have pictures that you put on photo bucket or anything like that. Which, by the way, to add any pictures or anything on Facebook, you can. It has to be online live. You can't have it like on a folder on your computer and think it's gonna work. You're gonna have to put it on photo bucket or any other photo editing websites that you can add online that will give you a URL that you can use. Um, 520 right here which I added is the max width and I had 1000 pixels for the height. Um, I didn't add any padding but and then you have the font. Inside I have a table with three columns and three rows. What I did that, it's so I have many things to work with. Uh, tables actually do work on Facebook, so it's a good way to organize your FBML and stuff like that. Which, by the way, FBML means Facebook Markup Language if you want to look it up on Facebook or on Google or anything like that. First, what I want to do is make this first two up here. Combine, modify table, merge the cells. So now it's just one. So now it's just one cell. And I also want to do the same thing to the second one. So I have two on top that equals one. And then I have two different ones down here. What I'm going to be adding today and showing you guys is how to add a YouTube video, a picture or an icon that you can have like a logo or anything like that that you can click and send to a website and a Twitter badge. So let's show you guys. Let's start with the icon. This picture of me, yes I know. To add a picture, it's kind of normal. You don't really need anything different. It's just you have the margin, the width, the link to where you want to send it, and then the link from photo bucket or anything else that has your picture. Now I'm going to copy this put it in the first one up here make sure you click on this side or it won't add correctly and let me delete this real quick because I don't need that there it goes um, it's going to show right here oh, that's an extra to uh, should work now there perfect it's going to show like if it was on top left hand corner but it's not um, Facebook automatically puts everything in the middle it senses it so I'm not really sure how to make it stay in the left. Maybe you can leave the other table up and merge it to the left. I don't know. Well, I will have to see how to work that later. But maybe I'll keep you guys updated. Anyways, the picture's up. That's how it's going to be pretty much show, just in the middle. As everything has a height and everything that you need. And so it's pretty easy. Just have the link and the link to it to the image. Now for the Facebook, 
it's a lot different. Uh, it has its own little coating that you need and stuff like that. It doesn't show up here, like if it was anything, because it has the Facebook, as you can see, the Facebook coating. So it doesn't actually read it because it's not meant for HTML, but it will show up on Facebook, I promise. What you need for this one though, is the link to your video in this format, which has the B and then this, all, the, all this right here, you can get from a video right here, which is the B equals and then those letters. So they're right here. I already added them in there and stuff like that. So that's all you need. And then you need to you need a picture of the video. Well, it doesn't have to be the video, but it has to be a picture that you can click so the video plays. Since Facebook doesn't work, um, when you click it, when you click the tab, it doesn't open up and start playing things. Instead, it starts having the links work. You actually have to click a picture for anything to work. So if you have a picture and you click it in a flash place, that's how it works. You can't just have the flash play right when the people click on the tab. So for this video, you have to put a picture that shows first that people have to click before it actually plays. So that's what I have here. The picture is from Photo Bucket right here. And then the link and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna copy this real quick. And put it in our second tab right here. Delete this. I don't know why all this stuff is on here. There it is, right there. And it should show up right there. Perfect. Um, and third, for Twitter, is a Twitter badge. Now, this Twitter badge is a little different. You know, you usually can go to Twitter and like put your widget and all that stuff. That does not work on Facebook. I'm not really sure how to make it work, but. The only one I can act that I actually know how to work is a Twitter badge. This one just it just displays your t latest tweets and all that stuff. Doesn't work as well. It doesn't look as well, but it works. So to me, it doesn't really matter. Now let me show you how to get that because it's something totally different. Sorry about the lag and all that stuff. I keep messing up when I do that. This website right here. Twitter.com slash badges is the only one that will work with MySpace. I know this is Facebook. Don't click that Facebook because it's not going to work. You have to click MySpace and con click continue. You have to click the display only widget. The display only widget will give you a link that's a DV DIV. And it has that actually works on Facebook. You can actually, you could actually copy this whole thing and have it work on your Facebook when you click it on and you click it and you paste it on the FBML so it will work right away I already copied my link and all that stuff on Dreamweaver so it's right here I changed a couple things so I didn't add like the link on the bottom because I didn't really want that it's kind of like the link that you click to go follow I didn't really feel like putting that so I just did it but I'm going to copy this real quick Oh, and by the way, this link right here is the same as every other one, but for some reason, and somehow, it's for you only. So, someone else could have, I mean, someone else is going to have the same link, but it's not going to give you the same results. Like, your link is not going to be the same as mine. It will look the same, but it's going to give you your tweets, and mine is going to give you my tweets. And also, for this one, you also need a picture. So you have the person actually has to click for the Twitter badge to actually work. I changed the color and all that stuff, but anyways. What we're gonna do with this one, I'm gonna so I'm gonna add it on the left. Actually I'm just gonna add it on the right. So I already clicked on the right, so I'm just gonna add it right there. Of course it doesn't show us anything because it's not gonna work on this because it's Facebook. And I'm just gonna add links on the on the right. So I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put hello and this is a test of the FBML. Test. Of course it's gonna show up, blah blah blah. 
and we have it there we go let's see if it works hopefully it does probably won't the first time but what can we do about it so let's copy this copy almost press paste go to your page you can press edit go to applications go to application then paste it on here huge link I know and you put save and hopefully hopefully cross my fingers it will work oh well you can see the text right here for some reasons why you can probably change that real quick some reason the color is not right I'm just going to add a random color to say, like, actually, I'll just click black. Oh, I could have just done it over here. Anyways, okay, I'm going to go back real quick because you can't see the words I actually put on there because they came out white. So I'm going to change right here. Now they should be black, so you can actually read them. Mm, magic! So as you can see, it came out centered, a lot different. Picture right here, this is all pictures, so nothing's actually working right now. To actually make it work, you have to click the picture. This one will send me to my YouTube account, because I put the link. This one. It's the neatest. You see, the YouTube is a picture. The whole thing is a picture. And you click it. It actually plays a video. And then the Twitter, you click it, and it loads from Twitter. It's awesome. There you have it. It's pretty nice. I've been working on another one for uh, for where I work. I work. Uh, I design. Uh, like I, w I do web design and stuff like that so I've been working on Facebook for a while trying to make something neat and cool so maybe I can show you guys later what I did with that one that one's a little bit more professional this one's just a simple one because I've I've noticed like the first time when I started doing this I saw that no one actually had posted on YouTube how to do this most of them were like trials and then they went to a link to pay I don't think that's right I mean people should be able to do this stuff Without having to pay. I didn't. Any, I mean, it's Facebook. It's a fan page. Why am I gonna pay for someone to, to do something simple? You know. I mean, I understand if you want to do like really crazy coding and stuff like that. Then yeah, go ahead. You can pay me. Wink, wink. You know what I mean. Pay me, yeah. But for now, this works just as perfect and as good. So there you have it. I'm gonna put. The, I'm gonna put a link. Actually, there is a link. On the down there below, it will have. Actually, I have to figure out how I'm gonna put this up online. Well, when I figure it out, I'll put a link uh, so you guys can get a document that just says this coding. Of course, I'm gonna take off the images and stuff like that so you guys can add your own images. But hopefully, this stuff works for you guys, and I hope you enjoy.